Okay, we've got some data. One. Generates a list of 500 fruits. If you iterate through them, apple equals none. If you're a beginner coder, you might do it like that. And it's perfectly fine. It's very fast. Two. But it's a bit long-winded. You soon learn that you can use a dictionary. That counts all of them for you. Three. Even better way is just use the counter, which is a subclass of dictionary, but with some added help for counting. So that gives us all the counts. We want them in most common order. Maybe we only want the top three entries. We can also get the total, which in this case, we already set it to 500. We can add them together. You can also extend them in place. You can also remove. You can also count items that aren't there and we can change counts. So now if we put pineapples at the top of the list, we can decide that all the lemons have gone bad. You can also remove them this way. That completely removes lime from the known keys. You can also get all the elements as an iterator. We can also compare them. So count A has more in it than count B, has higher counts than count B. That makes an intersection. The restriction on counter is there has to be hashable objects, which means you can count things like strings and tuples and numbers, but you can't count dictionaries. If you want to count a list, you can turn it into a tuple and you can count that. So there we go. Go count something. <laughs>